Hi guys, this is a video on Windows software. I received a message from Wavecracker. Uh, it says, Virtual Machine, hello mate. I just want to find out about that virtual machine you used in that antivirus program film. It would be nice if you could send a direct link to it, and does it hurt my real operating system if I used it? I want to do my own kind of tests and those with those free antiviruses. Thanks. So, sure. Um, at the moment, I'm using or the ones that I was the one that I was using was VMware Workstation Ace Edition. So this is the latest version of um, VMware Workstation. Unfortunately, this costs, but I'm sure you can find your own ways to get this software for free. Um, also, there's um, a program called Microsoft Virtual PC 2007. Uh, this is free. You can download from the Microsoft website. I'll include the link to in the in, oh, in, I will provide the link in the description. And there's also Innotech VirtualBox, which is open source. And as you'll notice, at the moment, they are all installing Windows XP Service Pack 2. So, uh, it's taken a little bit longer as I've got them all running at once, but uh, this will give me a chance to compare the things that I use to compare programs. So, if we, we'll begin with uh, VMware Workstation. Now, this is quite good when it comes to making alt um, more virtual machines like that doesn't just have to be windows so you've got a selection here of all the windows editions you can use with vmware you've got linux those are linux versions novel network sun solaris and other so other things you can install as well so that's very handy if we go into the settings of my virtual system that i've made you can see that you can change things like the memory hard disk cd rom i've got it using an iso image in my documents at the moment uh, installing XP, excuse me, um, and it's sharing the host IP address so I can get internet in the browser. Uh, it's got USB support, sound adapter, so it all, it all works very well with um, when it comes to installing things. So Windows XP, if you click inside it, it, it controls the mouse inside the virtual machine, but if you don't install VMware tools, so what you do is right click and then install VMware tools, now, that'll do once this is installed, it will um, speed up the graphics on the, on the, uh, in the virtual machine and allow me to drag my mouse outside of the box, because usually you have to press Alt and Control to come out of the virtual machine and then move your mouse over the box and you'll notice in some of my videos that the screen recorder doesn't follow my mouse so I have to keep going Alt Control and clicking Alt Control and clicking. So this is VMware, it's quite good, quite a good piece of software, you can run things in full screen. Um, but this is quite expensive software as well so but I, I think it's quite the most reliable but then uh, I haven't tried well I've just downloaded Microsoft Virtual PC which is free now this has got a sort same sort of console as VMware here um, you can choose things but I'm not sure if it only does Windows so you, you've got a new wizard here welcome to new virtual machine wizard same as the other one create a new virtual name it operating system so this only works for Windows if you click other it doesn't have anything really so OS2 here so then you use the recommended RAM that it tells you and things like that so um, for your uh, question uh, which you said uh, Wavecracker you might want to use Virtual PC to do it because it seems that it runs exactly the same it looks fairly easy to use I did have a problem with it um, detecting my CD-ROM drive because I wanted to use a CD-ROM drive to CD-ROM to install Windows XP but you can actually right click here and then say um, capture ISO image and then find your ISO here so you can then have it run in virtual PC uh, floppy drives things here are all here so quite handy and VirtualBox which is kind of the same thing as well I'm installing XP in it although I've clicked in it and I'm not sure how to release the the oh it says right control so if I click right control uh, right control releases me from the box it says in the bottom right corner here so it sort of does like VMware does but you just press the right control key and it'll come out of it um, this is the main box you get when you get VirtualBox uh, VirtualBox is open source I'll provide the link to that again in the uh, description and as you can see I've got XP Pro that's running here which I'll sort out in a second and you can change several things you've got boot order and hard disk CD-ROMs USB and things like that, you just press no and it should eventually come up with another wizard where you just choose the name of your thing OS type, this supports many as well, OS2, Linux, NetWare, Solaris, Windows, XP, various versions press next, choose your memory size 
next again, choose your hard disk, we're going to make a new one and it says create a new virtual disk and then you create a new virtual disk and then call it a name and then next it and then finish so this is VirtualBox, they all seem to run pretty much the, on the same way apart from some don't support as much as others um, so two are free, so Virtual PC and VirtualBox are free and VMware Workstation is uh, pay for software so you have to pay for this to work it so uh, this is the Virtual PC console this is the VirtualBox console and the VMware console is actually inside it's in, in a sidebar or you can switch here where you've got things you can use um, switch between your operating systems along this bar here um, also, this ACE thing means I think you can put operating systems on a USB pen or something and take it somewhere else and use it in another VMware thing. Um, so yeah, you can also reset virtual machines, shut them down. Um, you can have more than one, as you can see there's plenty of space for running more than one operating system. And what it does is it uses your RAM and your hard disk um, and it splits them up. Uh, so I'm using 256 megabytes of my RAM to run this Windows setup box so to run Windows XP it's going to take a chunk out of my RAM to use for this computer's RAM so but it's going to use my keyboard and my mouse to control it and uh, same with this one right click and you say reset suspend and stuff like that um, this that's pretty much it, that's all I can say um, I was going to show you um, XP on each one but um, they pretty much do the same thing anyway, there's no point in me showing you so this is just showing you installing XP on all of them so they look exactly the same so it's up to you which one you want to get like I said VirtualBox open source Microsoft Virtual PC is from the download website you need to have a genuine version of um, Windows to download it I think and that's about it really so thanks for watching my video if there's any other virtual machine programs you know of then um, please let me know but these are the ones that I've just I've just tried two out trying two out now and the one I've been using is VMware Workstation. So um, please message me if there's anything else you want me to try out or have a look at and thanks for watching.